Okay, where's muskrat Jim here? I'm just heading up to the lake to fry up some smelts. My wife picked me up some at the supermarket and uh, she knows I like them a lot. So um, anyway, that's where I'm off to. So why don't you come along? A lot of birches in here, probably under 40 years old. Um, but a lot of it seems to be diseased or dying. There should be some chaga in here as well. Quite a bit of it. Like it's just old birches, as far as you can see down there. From this distance, I can't see any chaga, but suppose if I got closer. right there. They don't see each other. A lot of birch polypore though. See it right there. When you see fungus growing on a birch, like the polypore or the chaga, the tree is either dead or dying. There's lots of lichens on these ones as well. You can see the lichens growing all over that birch. And it's probably killing it too. Okay, so here's a birch that's blown down, and you can see the lichens on it. I'm just going to point them out and close up here. See this uh, green leafy thing here? Well, that's a type of lichen. And then there's old man's beard right here. It's another type of lichen. Here's some birch polypores. You can tell that they're young because the bottoms haven't turned black. I found some chaga in here a couple of years ago. Just by chance, I came out looking for some and not really expecting to find any, but I found some. And, uh, Unfortunately, I didn't GPS mark the location. But it was somewhere around here. Oh well. Continue on.
lots of rabbit tracks through here. Well, the lake's in that direction. And there's a creek right here that was created by beavers. Um, I don't think I want to try walking on it. And there's some footprints on the side of it. I would say those are probably fox footprints. Well, judging by the distance apart, these footprints it may not be fox. It's kind of big. We got a little bit of snow and some rain um, yesterday, and so it's obscured some of the footprints. So it's really kind of hard to tell what that might have been. But anyway, we're going to head over to about that location where those pines are standing, right there in the middle of the screen. I'm going to head over there. And I'm going to put my snowshoes back on because um, there's a lot of bushes there that are covered in snow, and so I'm likely to step and fall through. So we better play it, play it, play it. So we better play it safe. Beaver marking right there. That's fairly fresh. They've cut the birches off and eaten the bark on the bottom there. And then here's some more. But those ones are old. Right across the lake. Let's zoom in here. That mound is a beaver lodge. Oh, I see another beaver lodge too on this side. It's not too far from where I'm standing actually. So you can see the mound there. Anyway, the beavers swim back and forth through this lake uh, throughout the winter. And uh, so now it's not safe anymore to uh, try to cross it with a snowmobile. I don't know if people still are doing that or not, but I know I certainly would want to try it. Well, let me get set up here and then we'll uh, start cooking some lunch. <laughs> Muskrat survival videos, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to click the bell to receive notifications of newly uploaded videos on this channel.